Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Modded, the Mage's Ascent, episode number 16. So in the last episode, guys, we spoke to a guy in Riften who uh, was telling us about uh, maybe some Dwemer ruins being underneath a cave. And uh, it turns out that there were some mercenaries that were trying to open a portal. And we kind of went through the portal, and we ended up in Falska. So uh, here we are, guys, as you can see. This is a completely new area. For anyone who didn't see the last episode, here's the map. So it's it's kind of a, it's about sort of solstheim sized. Seems to be divided off into sort of three, maybe four distinct areas. I don't know how we're going to get to this place though. This seems like it's um. This place seems like it's kind of bottled off from the rest of it, kind of thing. Whereas this river kind of goes down. So I'm sure we'll figure out how to get to these certain areas. Maybe they'll unlock as we do more quests around the area. I see a few little paths and bridges and stuff here. But yeah, this this area here, maybe... Ah, oh, I see. We, there's a little way up there we can get to it. So yeah, it seems some of these areas you kind of have to go a bit of a weird way to get to. And it seems like all walled off as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool looking map. So this is where we're at right now. We are currently in uh, Amber Creek. And we had to deliver a message to uh, the Jarl about... Uh, about something which I've kind of forgotten what it was because I'm just so excited by this uh, by all this modded stuff which is really cool so we're in this town right now and this kind of reminds me of Riverwood uh, a little bit is this the is this the Isles place or or not what have we got here looks like this is like some just kind of training ground let me have a little look around here let's see if we can find it ah here we go this looks like it is the uh, the Isles area here we go so this is the manor all right let's open this up and let's go and see if we can talk to the Al. When and hopefully not get old, murdered for entering. For now, just enjoy being young. If you say so. Do not dread, Vilha. You will grow up to be a great warrior. I am sure of it. But only if I keep practicing. I'll go do that right now. All right. So, uh... Hello. How do you do? Hmm. Um... Let me see. Actually, I probably shouldn't try and say the traveler. Uh, so, uh, we found uh, Machias. He says the bandits are working for uh, Ingvar. What? What led him to believe that? Such a statement cannot be taken lightly. Well, he overheard them talking. Uh, they got orders from Ingvar to capture him. This, this is bad news. It could very well mean the start of another war. Thank you for bringing me this information. Please, accept this token of my appreciation. I hate to Ooh. ask more of you. You have already saved one of my people. But I don't have much choice. Long ago, when there was war between my family and the Yunvaldirs, there was a group of monks that served as our wise men and court wizards. They have since retired to a simpler life, but their roots are still there. They may know what Ingvar is up to. Please, go to Balen Priory, to the southwest, and talk to Brother Thorlo. See if he knows anything. Alright, so we've completed Welcome to Falska, and we now have a new quest, an army of greed. Alright. So we have to uh, question the brother down to the south uh, southeast, I think. Let's go ahead and have a quick look on the uh, on the map here to see where we're going. Hmm, where is this? Is it even marked to my journal? I don't think so. Let me just go ahead and make sure that's marked. Here we go. An army of greed. Right, let's mark that. Where is that? Okay, so they're right down here. So it looks like we're going to have to kind of press on through the forest area and see what we can do from there. So let's go ahead and make our way down here. And let's see where we can go from here. So uh, this, as I said, this is a, a, a quest line that I've never done before. So I'm, I'm doing this blind. I mean, I know I do a lot of things blind, guys, but <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this blind. And yay for weird looking flowers again. They, they're, even, they're even in Falskar. So uh, yeah, must be some kind of... Uh, can I take this wheat for potions? Yeah, let's, uh, let's harvest that. May as well. Here we go. Let's just take all, take all the things. There we go. Because we can use those in potions. Uh, oh, there's actually quite a lot of it here, so if I can make a load of healing potions. Because that's the thing, I have no idea um, how tough this place is going to be. So far it doesn't seem so bad, but I guess as we proceed through the quest line, it's going to get a lot more difficult. Do it? Sure, but we just have to take out the back wall and expand the fields to the south. Getting more livestock would be great. Plus, Farina and Willard love playing with the ones we already have. Then it's settled. 
we'll just have to save up for it. Hopefully this harvest goes well and we can make a good amount of coin. Alright. Uh, hello? I saw a mud crab the other day. Um, hmm. So, is the farm in town yours? Yes, it is. And Kalevi helps me run it, of course. We grow vegetables and occasionally have some livestock, but we mainly focus on poultry. If I may say, they are the finest chickens in Falskar. Uh, when they aren't randomly being slaughtered by vicious beasts in the dead of night, that is. Uh, something is killing your chickens? Yes, but I don't know what. Every once in a while, when I come outside in the morning, some of them are dead. More and more often recently. I looked into it for a while, even stayed up all night to keep watch, but I never saw anything. Neither did the guards when they kept an eye out. Whatever it is, it almost seems to know when we are watching the animals. I tell you what, if you want to wait outside during the night to see if you can catch it, I wouldn't object. Just try to do it in a timely manner. The loss of my poultry is costing me money, and I'd rather this was handled sooner than later. If you feel up to it, hide outside in the bushes around midnight and wait for the beast to strike. Then, do not kill it. Follow it to its lair. I have no doubt that there will be more of whatever is attacking my chickens there. Once you find its lair, kill it and its kin. I'll pay you for your efforts. More so, even, if you can stop this soon. Alright. In that case, we can go ahead and do that. So, started. Uh, no harm, no foul. Safe travels. Right. So, you got to uh, find the beast's lair before the second night. Okay, so if we can do it on the first night, that'd be good. So, what kind of time is it now? It's 4.52pm. So, let's go, ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and mark this off here. Um, so let's go favorite that. Hang on. Wrong button. J. Here we go. Right. So no harm, no foul. Let's uh, let's do this one first because this is like right in town it seems, and it's a it's a little side quest. And I would I just want to explore this place and do as many of the side quests as we can. May as well uh, while we got this monster, we may as well make full use of it, right? So where are the bushes we have to hide in? Uh, let me have a look here. Over this way. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and wait over here. Okay, so it looks like we just gotta kinda hide here and then wait till midnight. Right, so let's do that. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna wait in bushes for a, a little while. Let's do six hours. And then we'll wait till it's night. Okay, so now we gotta see. So I guess we literally just have to wait here until the beast strikes. So let's go uh, let's go in sneak mode, shall we? And then we'll see uh, what exactly comes along. Uh, okay, let's do one more. Right, um, so we gotta wait for the beast. Right, okay. So just gotta wait here. Right, let's see what we can see, shall we? Oh, so it's a wolf, eh? Right, follow the wolf. Oh. Okay, so it's uh, it's just a wolf. Okay. Just gotta follow it. Alright, so he's... Okay. Well, we can't kill it, so he's just killing the chickens. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf, I'm sorry. Okay. I guess maybe we have to wait in the bushes again? To then follow it? Are you... Are you heading off? Right, okay. Maybe we just have to wait here and let him go. Okay. So he's running over this way. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so a wolf is killing the chickens. So, right, I see him over here. Right, let's follow the wolf back to the cave, shall we? Right, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Don't lose him. Okay, he's up here. Okay, damn my low stamina. This might cost me the quest. I don't know if we can fail quests, but I assume we can. Okay. So how far away has he gone anyway? Wow, he went quick, so he's he's gone pretty quickly, so yeah, he's gone right the way over here. My stamina is not the best, so we're gonna have to go kinda go and make our way down here. Okay. Wonder if that guy saw the wolf anyway. Hopefully he's not gonna be after me. Right, okay. Oh hang on a minute. So that is what have we got here? Another farm here? Wait a minute. So we're at Admin's farm, eh? Is this where he is? Or is he not? Right, so it looks like he's gone this way. Now where's he going? 
Okay, we're kind of going around the mountain area. Okay, so it's a bit of a long, bit of a long run. Okay, let's go and keep running up here. So unfortunately, I can't run very far, so we just have to make the best of it. So we're gonna have to wait till he gets to his lair and kill him. Right, he's going up this way. Right, looks like it is this cave here, so he's probably here. Okay, here we go. But yeah, we can't kill him. We just have to let him. Just have to let him kill the chickens. Right. Oh, here we go. Here they come. Oh, we got a mage after us. Right. Luckily, I'm resistant to magic. Got him. Wow. Okay. So we can now search this guy, and he's got the gunnet and the pelt. There we go. So that guy's dead. All right, so now I have to uh, search Sunken Skull Barrow. So there was a uh, necromancer here as well. So I wonder what's going on. Hmm. Well, let's get our armor on. And let's go ahead and get our candlelight up. Right, here we go. So to Sunken Skull Barrow, guys. Let's see what's in here, shall we? All right, time to get searching. Right, I already see um, some mushrooms here. So this like a... Uh, oh, is this a Draugr rune? Ooh, okay, this is cool. Blue butter flowing, and, and I hear more wolves in here. Right, so let's go and have a... Right. Come on, then. Got him. Yes. There you go, he was trying to... Okay, it looks like we're up against loads of necromancers. Okay. Right, let's see what we got here. Bone meal. A danger heart. Very nice. I'll take that. A rose minor restoration. May as well take those too. He won't be needing them. What does this wolf have? Wolf pelt. I can sell that to the smith. All right, so it looks like we are going to be dealing with necromancers, guys. That's pretty cool. Right, there's more wolves up here I can hear. So yeah, something's going on up here. So there is like a dead end that way. Right, there's definitely more wolves down here. So let's make our way down this little cave and see where they may be. Right. Probably just in here. There. Got him. Right. Right. Uh-oh. Okay, got two of them. Right. Get rid of that one. Right, back up. Right, he's down. Right, I need my light. Right, armor. Light. Right. Woo! Go on then. Go on then, apprentice necromancer. Oh, there's a, lot. there's a lot of them here. Okay. Okay. This isn't good. We need to get. We need to get back. We need to get back. There's uh. There's way too many, and my magic isn't recovering in time. Okay. Let's get here. Right. Where they at? There we go. Take some damage. There we go. There we go. We can get him. There we go. Gotcha. Right. Oh, not again. Hang on a minute. Right. Let's get rid of that necromancer before. Come on, then. Lucky I'm so good at resisting Frost. Our magicka is uh, very low, though. Go on then. Go on then. Yes, got him. Right, is that it? Okay. So there's the necromancer. He's got um, jasmine grapes, a potion of resist shock. Uh, necromancer robes. That's, we've already got robes like that as well. Right, there's more. There's more down here. Right, our, our magicka is not doing well here. Now I can't like run out again. Right. Maybe some fire would be handy. I might have to alternate. Fresh meat. Where you at? Right, come on then. Right. There you go, we can uh, Come on then. Right. Right. You obey once. There you go. Right, let's stay back here. It's so good we got a high magic resist. Very good. Right, let's let our magic recover a bit. Just a smidge. Right. 
Right. So we're gonna charge two spells, then go. There we go. There we go. Come on, man. Come on, mage. We can do this. Unfortunately, he's uh, managing to recover quite, quite quickly. Got him. Okay, this guy's got ice spikes, so we're gonna have to be a bit careful here. Thank God I got good magic with this. All right, you know what? Avenging Wraith time. There you go. Deal with him for me. Right. Heal up here. Oh, he got rid of our. He got rid of our wraith. Right. In that case, then. I think it might be Earth Astronaut time. Go then. Stop firing ice ice spheres at me. There we go. Right, conjuration is up. Good. Right. Now you deal with it. Right. We need to heal as well. Yes. There we go. Should have done that at the start. Really, just summon this Earth Astronaut. Because he would have been able to get past the shields. There we go. So we got some septims. Good job, Earth Astronaut. You did it. Right, what have you got? Iron dagger, boots and clothes. It's a cave full of necromancers, guys. Well, we didn't expect that, did we? Uh, what have we got here? Another Daedra Heart. These guys are just, like, stalling Daedra Hearts. There's a human heart there as well. We'll take those. Um, what have we got here? Bloody rags. We need those. Right. Some urns here. Let's go and search in there. Get a mountain flower. And I see a place right there to do some alchemy too. Excellent. So we got some ingredients as well. So we can go ahead and do that. Make sure we search everything along here as well. Uh, oh, there is a draft versus cold right there. Is that everything? I think so. There's a couple of bits up here. You can see what we got here. So we got some imp stool, frost salts, uh, petty soul gem, slaughterfish egg. Oh, there's three of them there. I'll take uh, all three. Right. Let's get that back up. Right, is there any more stuff for alchemy around here? No? Okay, let's go ahead and do some alchemy then. Huzzah! Right, let's go ahead and uh, mix some stuff together. So I want to do... I think Damage Magicka Regen sold for a lot, if I, as far as I remember. Yeah, these ones definitely sell for the most. So I want to do these guys to raise my alchemy just a bit. So Nightshade. There we go. Because then by raising this up, we can uh, make better potions, essentially. Um, so let's see. I know Fortify 2 handed was a good one, but we don't have that one. Uh, Ravage Stamina. Those two, that doesn't really sell for much, so I'll just do it anyway. Resist Frost. Uh, these guys. And we got Resist Magic. So these guys. There we go. So you guys can have that. Restore Health. Um, oh, we had some wheat, didn't we? Hang on. We can do, we can do both of those. Um, so where is our wheat here? Here we go. Wheat, there you go. So that'll get us uh, 24 points of health. There you go. Fortify health and restore health. So that's uh, that's good for both. Okay. Um, any other good stuff we've got here? So now we can do restore health. We can probably do these guys. There we go. And weakness to fire. Let's do those. And restore magicka. There we go. Right. So now we've got damage health, which is those two. For a human heart, which is a rare ingredient, that seems pretty bad. Okay, let's go and just mix a few things together, see what we can do. Um, maybe these two. That makes something. Uh, these guys. Nothing with those. Fly, Animata, and... Juniperis? Nope. Okay, we got loads of this stuff. Swordfish egg? Nope. Let's just go and see what we can do here. Fly, Animata, and wheat. That would be very good if it did work, but it doesn't look like it's going to. And yellow mountain flower? Nope. Okay. Oh, well. Alchemy is going up, though. That's good. Wheat and Slaughterfish Egg. Let's do the wheat with a load of things as well. Uh, lingering Damage Magicka. That's actually not bad. Just like 150 per thing. That's not bad. These two. Nope. Uh, Jasmine Grapes. Nope. How about Juniper Berries? Damage Down to Regen. There we go. That's a good one. And we got Wheat and Human Heart. I guess that's like something, but I don't know. I don't really know if I want to do that. Try these two. Nope. This and a Human Heart. Damage Magicka. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, fine. That's, that's a better potion. Or a poison, even. Uh, none of this other stuff can mix, anyway. Okay. Quit Alchemy. There we go. So we leveled up Alchemy just a little bit. So that's good. Right. So let's go and get Candlelight. Boom. There we go. Let's get more Mage Armor. There we go. Right. Let's, let us proceed. Right. More Wolves, it seems. Right, now this side we should be better prepared because our Frost Astronarch, or Earth Astronarch even, 
Not for us, that's not, he's not made of ice. Uh, should be able to deal with them. Right. Uh, got him. Right. Got him too. Nice. Haha. -ha. Oh, they're starting to um, take up Draugr as well now. That's something. Okay. So there's the Draugr over there. What's in this urn? We have Floor Scarlet and an Imp Stool. I'll take both of those. Thank you very much. Here's that Draugr that he revived. He has Bone Meal. I'll take that too. In here, there's nothing anyway. And where was the Necromancer? There you are. What do you have? A potion of Extra Magicka. I'll take that. Hmm. There's another Draugr right here with Ancient Nord War Axe. Amethyst and Bone Meal. I'll take the pair of those. All right. And there is a little chest here. Hooray! What's in here? We have one Septim. One Septim. That's like the best uh, the best treasure chest ever. And for some reason, there was a bee in a burial land. Okay. Okay. I guess he, I guess he flew in there and died or something. I, I, I don't really know what happened. All right. Let's keep going. Open this next door. Right. One, two, three. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's go and see if I can... Oh, wait. I don't want... I want Fury 5. Right. Let's go back up here. That's it. Now, now fight each other. Go, Earth Astronaut. Go. There we go. Kill it! Nice. Alright, now I need my light again. Very dark here. Alright, let's come to that one behind me so I can get past. Right, give me some uh, give me some light. There we go. That's better. Right, are there any drawer in here? Yes there are, we're gonna have to be careful. Septim. So search for these Draugr, make sure we are getting everything we can. But yeah, I'll try using some illusion magic now as well. Considering that we can maybe make them turn on each other, that could be pretty cool. So maybe illusion plus become ethereal might be pretty cool. Right, so it looks like there's going to be more up there. There's a couple of urns here, let's go and search those. What have we got in here? Yellow Mountain Flower, I'll take that. And we have Necklace of Waning Frost. 30% resistance to frost, that is not a bad necklace. That is a pretty good necklace actually. Potion of Minor Healing. Purple Mountain Flower, I'll take those two. And another yellow mountain flower. Okay, that's cool. That's the thing, I, I've got to admit, I don't really find many uh, yellow mountain flowers. I don't know if it's a... Uh, I think it's like a, a modded thing, maybe? Right. So we got to go in here. Okay, there's a draugr here. You... Okay, he's not He's not going. So Septim, I'll take that. What have we got in here? Let's go make sure we're searching around here, just in case any of these guys want to wake up. The draugr up there. What have you got? One Septim too. Okay. Right. Right, let's see if we can see if we can infuriate this guy and make him attack his own wolves. Right, there we go. There we go. Now hopefully they can attack each other. There we go, we can make him deal with each other, that's it. There we go. And then this guy. Okay, they can fight each other. There we go. Okay, they kind of know where I'm at. And then we can... Oh, I don't want to do that. This one. There we go. Right, so they've probably mainly killed each other. Here we go. There we go. There we go, one down. Okay. Now just avoid his magic and let us recover. Come on, then. There we go. We got him now. Go on then. There we go. We gotta kill that other guy reviving him. Um, right, this guy is pretty much resisting all my... Yes! Got him! Oi, don't you heal. Got him. Yes! There we go. Right, so we got some small antlers. There we go. Okay, managed to make him attack each other. And we had to remove the magical crystal, eh? Right, what have we got in here? Potion of Extra Magicka. I'll take that as well. Here we go, Apprentice, uh, Scroll of Adronite Mark, and Hooded Robes of the Necrolite. Friendly conjured creatures within 10 feet get 25% attack damage and 100 health. That's pretty cool. That's a nice enchant, actually. That could be good for me. Alright, anything else in here? There's a boss chest. Let's see what we got in here. We have Lesser Soul Gem, Silver Sapphire Necklace, and a Robes of Minor Restoration. We've already got a set, but I'll take another one. Alright. Do you really want to take this? I don't know. Magical Crystal Fragment. There we go. Nice! 
All right, we managed to remove that magical crystal fragment, guys. So now we have to go and return to the farmer. There we go. And we've started Dreams in Oblivion. Okay, find out more about the crystal fragment. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure we are lit up again. Right, I don't know if there's any more enemies through here. So I kind of just want to keep a sneaking, just to be a little bit careful here. Let's have a little looky, shall we? Uh, aha, there you are. All right, here we go. Let's get out of here. And that will drop me down to this little bit. And I assume I've got to go up here and out. I think this is the way out. Oh, there's some... Uh, is that mushrooms here I missed? Oh, no, I didn't go all those. Okay, cool. There we go. All right, so we managed to figure out what was happening. So it, it, did, it did turn out that it was uh, something slightly uh, slightly more sinister than we would have hoped. But there we go. We took out those guys on the first night. And we can go... Because at first, I thought it was going to be this farm here. It's like, is it this guy, like, sending a wolf to, to put this guy out of business or something? But no, it was actually something completely different. So let's go ahead and fast travel to uh, Amber Creek. Here we go. All right. And now we got to go and tell the guy the good news that we uh, took care of the... Uh, the threat to his chickens it was just a wolf but there was a bit of a deeper story behind it so let's go and see where he is here he is he's in here is this guy opened yet right here we go let's go inside here and talk to him all right uh where are you at good sir there you are hello look out it's a oh never mind um so uh wolves being controlled by necromancers were at fault for your chicken's death <laughs> wolves and necromancers how odd we try and try but this land it only ever seems to get worse at least you put an end to it. Haha. -ha. You even stopped the wolves on your first try, saving my valuable chickens. I thank you for that. Here's your reward, with something extra for your timely work. Yes. In addition, I'd like to offer you the convenience of trading with me whenever you'd like. Night or day, I'm more than happy to barter with you. Hopefully that will help even things out for how much you've helped me with this. Well, there we go. So we got some grilled chicken, ten salt piles, uh, five grilled chicken. Wow, well, that's not bad. So completed, no harm, no foul. Um, so what can Hopefully we? Something to keep you fed or safe while adventuring. What can we uh, buy from him anyway? Let's have a look. So apparel, what are you getting? Belt tunic, uh, gold ruby necklace, ring of panic. What's this one? Enemy creatures and people within eight feet have a chance to flee from combat. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, I want to disenchant that, and a silver ring will take both of those. Um, what miscellaneous stuff have we got? Actually, we can we can probably sell him some stuff as well, because um, he's got a fair bit of gold. So it's uh, the cinema amethysts. You can have those. And flawless amethyst, flawless garnet. I'll keep the ruby. Uh, regular garnets, you can have those too. And you've also got uh, wolf pelts. Do you, do you pay much for those? Not much, but it's something. So there we go. All right, there we go. See ya. So, he's pretty much saying it's we can trade with him. He's, well, he said we can pretty much uh, trade our with him night or day, but Oops. that's cool. Sorry. Uh, hello, what's Thanks up with you? Thanks to our crops, Amber Creek hasn't once had a famine. Uh, do you need help with something? Might I ask a personal favor of you? It's rather personal, but you saved Micaias, so I know I can trust you. Uh, sure, what is it? Well, um, I recently obtained some information about where I was born. You see, I don't think that Kanari is my real father. We are both Bosmer, but I think I was born in another village and brought here when it was burned down. Please, go to Pinevale. Try to find some evidence that I was born there. Just don't bring this up with Kanari. It would just crush him if he knew I was looking into this. I still care for him very much as my father. I just have to know. I know it's a simple request, but it's very important and would mean a lot to me if you could help. Alrighty. Um, and what will you do if you find out if he isn't your father? I'm not really sure. He's lied to me about this all my life. But he's also done so much for me. I'll confront him and finally get the truth. Then, I just don't know. Alright. Um, so, there we go. Talk Next. to you later. Next quest underway. So the chickens are now safe from the wolves, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and see where we got to go then. So let's go into journal, and we have kind blood. So where are we heading up here? Okay, that's that's quite far off. Um, 
That is actually quite a ways away. It's not really as near as the uh, as the cave here. So why don't we go ahead and look around the town for a little bit more quests and you know just explore the just explore the area a little bit just to enjoy our time here. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, so it looks like we got a house there. Is there like a is like a tavern or an inn somewhere? Where was the main way that we came in? I just want to see what that was. I think that was uh, I think it was here, wasn't it? And then we have what is this place? This is like a uh, yeah, here we go. This is the inn up here. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way in here. So if you want to get some quests, this is probably the place to go, right? Okay. Um, so, ooh, it looks like this place is pretty empty. Not many people here, so can I... It's very good, sweetie. One day you'll be just like Clara. You really think so? Thanks, Dad. Keep it up. If you make anything else, you know I'll be happy to try it as well. All right. Hello. Greetings. Um, let me see. Oh, this is how you can get his horse. Yeah, is your horse for sale? I suppose so. I haven't had much use for him in a while, and he gets sad just sitting in his stall all day. I'll let him go for a thousand gold. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take him. You won't regret it. He's a tad on the old side, but he's strong and brave. He's made it through a run-in or two with bandits over the years. Haha. -ha. He settled up in a stable on the east side of town. Solid brown with white hooves and a shining coat. I may not use him much anymore, but I still take good care of him. All right, so there we go. Excellent. Safe travels. Right, so we brought a horse now, so we can now get around a bit faster. How about, uh, how about you? Good morning. Um, what do you do around here? I help Rangar around the forge. I'm his apprentice. He hasn't had any children to pass the knowledge on to. I feel honored that he's accepted me to learn everything he knows. I work hard every day to practice the craft. He really does know a lot. Hmm. So I guess that's everything he Come has back to offer. If you need to sharpen your weapon or patch up your armor. I will do. Um so how about uh how about you? Hello. Hello. Um, okay, I don't want to beam in a brawl. Uh, how about you? Hello. Whether you're looking for food and drink, or just a good time, you're in the right place. Or just a good time, eh? Um, well, looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the king's men came by and left this bounty letter. All right, so we have to kill the Spriggan. Oh, here we go. Um, and heard any rumors lately? Rumor has it the lighthouse is haunted. I say it's just stories made up to keep kids away from the old rotten stone. Hmm. Any more rumors? Odin recently found something from an old friend, and it's been bothering him. You should talk to him about it if you have the time. Cool. And any more? Bandits cover the land outside of town. A lot of caravans have gone missing, and a lot of people have lost gold because of it. Hmm. Well, you seem to have a lot of rumors. Cool. Let me know if I can get you anything else. You really can't All right. hold your mead, can you? Let's go ahead and disenchant some stuff as well. There's an enchanter right here, which is really handy. Uh, so what can we disenchant? Iron Mace of Fatigue. Yes, please. Um, let's see. Circlet of Restoration. Yes, please. Holy Road of the Necolite. We'll take that as well. And then we got the Major Stamina. There we go. So we can learn some enchanting here. Excellent. And Necklace of Waning Frost. I will take that too. And of course, the Ring of Panic. There we go. Cool. Gilbred hearts adventured from their homes. Alright, so now I want to see if we can enchant some things. Let's try and do some circlets and things. We got a few grand soul gems and things. Rigid winds of those barren hills meant to freeze. So let's do What can we do with fortified destruction now? How are we doing with that? With a grand soul gem. Uh nine percent less still. I guess I can do that. So let's go ahead and Lost the rose, there we go. The man who chants the mountain so we're getting there. Olav or Valder searched the chill for numerous and days restoration and nights. That's also nine percent less. Okay, that works. And down to his knees Copper and knew knew that he could Let's do it. No more. There we go. Glanced we can level. Yay! The the there we go. So we level up once again. So up we go, and let's see what we can do. So once again. Magicka. We're going to need to start increasing health soon, um, but soon we'll do one health to one Magicka as we go. So, let's see what we've got in Illusion here. So we've got Entice Barter, can activate any target under the effect of a Calm spell. Imposing Presence we already we already have. Um, 
So uh, any illusion spell you cast on those effects is 25 simple powerful if they're in 40 feet. Um, and that's for allied creatures, but let's have that Dream Thief. That's for stealing stuff. Um, quite before it's not, I really like the look of that one. All spells you cast from any school of magic are silent to others. I do like that one. We're nearly there with that one. Um, okay, I think what we want to do is let me see if I can... What do we have in speech anyway? Um, that's uh, speech mastery. Sell items 10% more. Your intimidation attempts is twice as likely to succeed. So that could be pretty good to get us some more cash. Um, but what else is in the enchanting side of things? Because we got enchanting mastery. Um, we can make them 40% uh, stronger. Um, what else we got? That's for staffs. What's down here? Gem dust. You may choose to destroy a flawless gem when you begin the enchantment process and sprinkle its dust on the arcane enchanter. New enchantments are 25% stronger were placed upon the item of the type corresponding to the gem. Soul Siphon is to death blows to recharge weapons. Thunderstruck is uh, more for power type. So that's not really that's not really what we need to do. Spell Scribe. Destroy the spell you're dual casting. Um, power attacks and power batters use that. That's that's pretty good. Spell Scribe sounds really cool. But that's if we are more of a uh, a battle mage type character, I think. Um, so Regalia. Place some rope circlets. Hoods and nexus are 30% stronger. Okay, I need to go up this path. Um, because this one... 30% stronger for robe circlets, hoods, and necklaces. That's a really good one. So we're going to go ahead and do gem dust here. There we go. And regalia, I'm assuming, requires a bit of a higher one. Okay, that requires 60 enchanting. So we're going to be a, a while off of that. But I want to get this perk in preparation for it. So we can we can destroy some gems if we want to. But yeah, that's the path I need to go up, I think. Um, so regalia. And what do we have up there? All enchantments on equipped weapons and armor are 50% more powerful and last 50% longer. That's pretty cool. And then twin enchantments is at level 80. Okay, that's pretty cool. So twin enchantments at 80. So that's actually not as high as it usually would be in the base game, which works for me. Spirit hmm. and led Olad to the device. Then told them that the land was theirs to rule and plant to mine. Okay, so we do have a couple of uh, quests here then. Let's have a look and see uh, which we have now. So we have to find out more about the uh, crystal fragments. That's, uh, that could probably be another good one. So Death in Oblivion, or Dreams in Oblivion, sorry. And the Army of Greed is the main one. Um, so where do we have to go to find out about this? Let's have a look. Um, that's not too far um, from Balian Priory to find out more about the crystal. So you can go ahead and uh, fast travel over to this farm here once we're outside Not and then go from there. Tore out its heart. So it, it seems like a pretty pretty close by quest, but uh, unfortunately guys, I think we're at a pretty much at our time to go ahead and end off this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Before I do, I see a couple of butterflies over there that I just want to... Uh, give me your wings! Ah! Damn, you got away. Never mind. Ah, there you are. Come here. Get it, get it. Yeah, there you go. Rip the wings off those things. Haha. -ha. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, end off the quest right here, guys. Uh, or the episode, rather, not the quest. I'm getting very confused myself now. Way. So uh, yeah, this uh, whole new location is really cool. Um, so I'm very glad that we managed to find this area, which is really nice. And uh, hopefully, in, a n in the next episode, we'll be able to find out a bit more about those crystal fragments. And then we can go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, 